I was intrigued by the many YouTube videos I watched about this little camera. So I decided to check with the good folks at Colonial Photo in Orlando. As if by fate, they had a single new one in the box, along with a used XF 23mm F2 that was in great shape. I had them hold it for me, and I began the familiar 20-minute journey to the store. When I got there, I was struck that the camera was a little bigger and a little heavier than I thought. But to be honest, it was love at first sight. Despite my concerns about being a bit gimmicky, this thing has, for lack of a better way to say it, it's got personality. I took the bait and almost instantly started having buyer's remorse since it had absolutely no interoperability with my existing collection of E-mount lenses. But it was home and I decided to give it a try on some landscape street photography, if that makes any sense. The love affair, well, it only continued. The 35 millimeter equivalent prime, the hybrid viewfinder, and the small LCD on the back were a bit over the top, but once I discovered how to make that back display some usable information, I was all in. The buyer's remorse further faded once I discovered the Fuji film profiles could be applied to raw images in post. This is not a technical review. There's lots of those out there. It's just a collection of impromptu shots collected in the few months I've owned this little gem. It's followed by screenshots of the Lightroom processing I used. I hope you find this video enjoyable and perhaps even useful. Thanks.